Yes, yes, it is me, Gerald the Puppet. I am Buff. I am the stuff, and the girls just can't get enough. This is Damon Real. This is Damien Real. And we're the highlight reel. Here I am. Here I am. The king of kale, the green machine, the son of the sun, Leo Sparrow. This is pro wrestling's original MTV star, rapid delivery, Rory Fox. Hey, guys, this is Eddie Only. This is Marion Fontaine, uh, also known as Justin Notke. I'm Arthur MacArthur. This is the demon of fear, the soul taker. This is the Deathmatch King, the internet champion, always ready, Matt Cardona. What's up, everybody? This is the most professional wrestler, Brian Myers. And you're watching The Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. You're watching The Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. Now here's your hosts, Tom, Nick, Ryan, and Dave. It's you, it's me, it's N-R-D, it's you. It's me, it's N-R-D, uh-huh. Let's start the show. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, it is you, it is me, it is T-N-R-N-D. Welcome to episode 108, but more importantly, welcome to the two-year anniversary of the broadcast. What started two years ago as me stopping at a rest stop in Maryland, I, I messaged Nick and Ryan, for those who haven't heard this story before, uh, like, hey, you know, I know the the Brawler group, the uh, Micro Brawler fan group on Facebook, the anniversary is coming up uh, in a couple months, and I know everybody does, like, those shows around WrestleMania, so maybe we could do some sort of podcast or something for one off. And uh, what came of that is now a two-year show. We've added a fourth nerd. Uh, we've got puppets. We've got spacemen. We've got crowns. We've got chaos. Uh, but it is some of the most fun I've ever had in my life. We have had babies. We've had cruises. We've had uh, weddings, and we've never missed one week, which is very inc- impressive, if I must say so. Um, over 100 episodes, we we thank everyone for who has joined us along the way. If you bought a shirt, watched an episode, liked a comment of ours on social media, we thank you uh, from, our, from the bottom of our hearts for all the support that keeps us going. Um, and if you really want to keep the show going, join our Patreon. Give us some money. Why not? Patreon.com slash WNRDB if you haven't already done so. Um, or choose your warrior for WrestleMania as we are on the Thompson's Highway to Mania. You can check out the Pro Wrestling Tees store. You can check out the Spaceman, I'm sorry, King Spaceman George. Don't hurt me, George. Um, Spaceman George t-shirt. We also have a brand new Tom Says Hi t-shirt available as well in the Raw is War font. So go check that out. Um, but yes, yeah, so last year for our one year anniversary, we ranked every micro roller that we had in hand um, as of December 31st, 2021. Um, so there were 232 brawlers at the time. Uh, in 2023, we had 82 that we got in hand. So we had the debate on do we throw these um, 82 um, into the mix and we just do a complete full ranking um, of over 300 ballers and we just rank them for the 2022 and then we're like well that last one took eight hours to make this one we knocked out in just under two i think so yeah um, and last year i wasn't in grad school so i had more time and i hated it yeah i took a long time so uh the, the way we did it was pretty much we went brawler by brawler in order that they came out. Um, we looked at it. We analyzed it. Do we like it? Does it look like the person? What is it? Toyetic. Um, and pretty much so uh, it started with Josh Matthews and Nyla Rose. We said, like, do we like Josh Matthews more than Nyla Rose? Do we like Nyla Rose more than Josh? And just kind of went down the whole list. Uh, so pretty much we're going to read you. We're all going to take turns kind of reading. Yes, that that is the device that Ryan had on his neck while we recorded so he could see uh so we could see every ball because ryan is the micro brawler scholar and is an insane completist um so shout out to ryan he's a a micro brawler historian he really is ryan's ryan's gonna write a book one day so um like like we said you gotta give the shout out yeah so i'll get i gotta give pop credit you know his his whatnot i just want to Cut in. Um, his whatnot was fun. It was fun to watch. Um, his spinning of the wheel. If you spent X amount of dollars, um, you know that was cool. I think there were there were some really good deals. I think some prices were a little high, on my opinion. Um, but 
they weren't like auction prices. So they weren't high prices, but they weren't auction prices. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, I think, you know, uh, I think it was pretty good overall. So mm-hmm. I want to give him credit. He let us pump his, his our podcast on the whatnot stream. Yep. And Hop, if you're watching, thank you for that. Um, I, you know, I wish you the best, man. I know you're out of work. Um, I hope you get some good time to relax and the selling some brawlers helps allow that. I would like to say this because I was kind of busy during the whatnot. I got to drop in a little bit and watch. Um, so I wasn't able to get in on the ones that I wanted, but I noted, uh, I'd like to see if he's watching. So if Hiromu Takahashi uh, is still available at that price that was on the whatnot, let's talk, my man. So he's got a, he's got a Samoa Joe chase. Yes. And uh, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not making, I'm not making that. <laughs> Actually, I never know. Maybe I can make a, a deal ski or two ski. Uh, Samoa Joe chase folks still for sale, still for trade. Let's, uh, let's work something out everybody. Um, but so can we get an so, offer? Somebody just send an offer. Let's like somebody send me something. Uh, but so we have the micro brawler rankings right here, eighty-two to one. Uh, so let's break it down. Who wants to give the first set? I can do that. Okay, Tom, give give me eighty-two through seventy-one here. Yeah. So our our bottom ones are pretty rough. Uh, yeah. And we'll explain why. Number eighty number eighty-two was the one man gang yellow jacket chase. Yep. 81 was the Shockmaster chase. Um, I'm just going to say real quick, those were just unrealistic and just not it. Um, 80 was Tasha Steel. 79, Awesome Kong chase. 78, Awesome Kong. 77, Cassie Lee. 76, Jesse McKay. 75, King Harley Race. 74, Chris Candido. 73, Chris Candido chase. 72, Rachel Ellering. 71, Trey Miguel. These brawlers don't look good. No, they don't. And I, I feel bad because a good chunk of that list is all women, and it makes us look really, like, bad. But there's just a history of micro brawlers not looking good for female wrestlers. They just can't get the faces right for whatever reason. Most and of the time, was, like we said, they're painted on. They're not sculpted on. So That was the biggest thing with the inspiration. Their faces yep. aren't. The gear is yep. awesome on those yep. brawlers. That's what, ca- that's what saved them from being the bottom. Their yeah. gear was fire and was realistic. The one man gang, the Shockmaster, they never wore those outfits. I know that the one man yeah. gang is supposed to be a nod to the Akeem, but he did not wear a yellow safety vest, looking like he works in Walmart pushing carts. Shockmaster Chase again never wore the gold helmet. So, like, I get what you're trying for, but lazy you know. chases, bad makeup jobs, and generic wrestlers. That's what I yep. would call this yep. section of the list. Yep. Sorry, guys, nothing personal to any of these people. You gave 71 too, Tom? You, did I you did say 71, Trey Miguel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trey, Miguel. Trey Miguel, that face looks just really weird. He's got a massive forehead. The tattoo on the chest Dude. is dope, but other than that, it's just – it's not for me. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, 70 to 61. Let's go to the next group. Nick, why don't you give us that group? All right. Well, we have number 70 would be uh, Team Canada, Bobby Roode. 69 will be the Retro Andre. Nice. 68 will be Josh Matthews, and everybody's still waiting on them calls, Josh. <laughs> ah. Any day now. <laughs> 67 will be Bushwhacker Butch. 66 will be Don West, RIP. Uh, 65, the Ultimo Dragon Chase. 64, the Conan Chase. 63, the Conan Regular. 62, the Shockmaster. And when I'm stopping at 61? Yes. 61, the one, two, three kid. Oh. So, yeah, this was, again, they they just don't look good in a way. I mean, Don West think- is my favorite in that group. But I look yeah. at the Bobby Roode. He looks like an old school wrestling buddy, just with the flat nose kind of thing. Um, the I Andre we'll Retro. For Andre. What's I that? Think people, I think that will get the most disagreement. I think people think Andre Retro needs to be higher. The face, exactly. the face looks terrible. I'm sorry. The face looks. I'm looking at it right now. The face is not it. You look at the. If they put that same face that's on the original Andre the Giant <laughs> brawler, and you put that on that retro, much better. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan. Like I mentioned when we actually did the rankings, um, I said it looks like Ditto from Pokemon, like on the show when he would like <laughs> transform into other Pokemon, but he couldn't get the face right. That's what that brawler looks like. Um, Ultimo Dragon, I said this on my unboxing video. I hate that brawler, and I think it looks like Robert Ego Anthony just in a luchador mask instead of his own regular. So, and I like that brawler. I like that ch- chase because I like the colors, but it just wasn't it. No, just not it. And Conan, I'm sorry. It's just kind of boring. Sorry, you know. 
But uh, yeah. well, who did I say uh, Conan looked like with uh, with the sunglasses on? He looked like Bushwhacker. Oh, was Butch. it Bush? Whichever uh, Bushwhacker was love. <laughs> yeah, it said uh, Conan looks like Bushwhacker Butch if he just put uh, the shades and the hat on. So, yeah. um, and then again, the one, two, three kid, the face is just kind of not there for us. Um, yeah. So yeah, we go to we'll go to sixty through fifty one. Ryan, that's all you. Yeah, I'll go next. Oh, um, you had something to say too. Oh, no, no, I'm just saying I'll go next. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I don't want the glare to get anybody. I'll put this on for protection at the read. <laughs> so I'm going 60 to where? 50? 46? Uh, 60 to 51. 60 to 51. Okay, 60. Yeah. We liked one, two, three, kid chase more, just the nostalgia, the, the nod to the Hasbro, of course. Yeah. 59, Hasbro, or <laughs> Headbanger Thrasher Chase. 58, Headbanger Moss Chase. Um, we like the the classic shirts more. So 57 was Headbanger Thrasher, 56, Headbanger Mosh, 55, Chad Too Bad. We like the uh, the details and such, a lot of details on those. 54, Chico El Luchador, 53, Frankenhausen, 52, the regular Ultimo Dragon, 51, British Bulldog Heart Foundation. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. So I think what this section is kind of at is – they're not super toyetic. I mean, the headbangers look like the headbangers, but it's just like yeah. the, the the skirts were just kind of plain. Like they had the etching of it, but like I feel like if it was just painted black rather than etched in, it would look better. Um, the well, Chad too bad. Glad. Like that? painted. If they actually painted like the the yeah, rather than do the the indent on the skirt, it would have looked better. Yeah. Um, but. And so, and again, like you said, you know, the, the, the common is more true to the actual, like they never were wearing, you know, except for the, the FWF live um, thing. Um, but Chad too bad, the face, it looks like sour boy rather than actual uh, Chad too bad himself. Chico, we love, except for the fact that the Cape is, it's just a big blob of green and it just, you know, it's kind of boring, you know, it's just there. It looks like a blanket. Um, so um, and I, I personally, I fought for Frankenhausen to be higher on the list because I think it's cool. Um, but, you know, this, this, we're a democracy here. So, well, that's yeah, what that's happened. what I was going to say. I put these up because these are tag team micro brawlers and this was a team thing. You get it's our four minds together. We we fought hard for certain things, other things we conceded. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So um, and British Bulldog again, you know, you look at the face there. It's just it's kind of. It's it's okay. It's not it's not a bad brawl. I think everything kind of going up. Not everything's really all that bad. It's just you know every there were brawlers that just blew them away. There's you know we get to that top ten section. We'll break them down more individually. But you know we got up to that top ten. We're like these guys are towards the top. We know. Yeah. So yeah. and I think I think uh, the bulldog one starts are like yes we really like these. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, we're moving into the top 50 here. Yep, we're moving into top 50. I'll, I'll kick off the top 50 here. Uh, so at number 50, we have Nyla Rose. 49 is the Frankenhouse and Chase. Number 48, the first appearance of Ric Flair in the blue robe. Number 47, wow. Delirious. 46, the Rosemary Purple Variant. Number 45, Wardlow. Number 44, King Harley Race. Number 43, the IRS Chase. 42 IRS and 41, the other half of the Bushwhackers, Luke. Um, so Ric Flair in the blue robe looks like a sad, depressed old man. Um, I yeah. got him because I wanted to complete the set of Ric Flair's. Um, Nyla Rose, again, it it looks like her. The gear is great, but again, it's a painted on face and it just something isn't right there with it. Um, the gear is incredible, though. Yes, that, the gear is fantastic. Really good figure. Um, I think a lot of people will give the King Harley Race one flack. Uh, but from what I remember, the biggest argument on him was the fact that because he had the crown on, it made him so much shorter than yeah, everyone. That was it for me, too. So there's a I, lot I of good detail. Out, I did fight for Del – y'all wanted Delirious to be a bit lower. Um, I yeah. fought for that. I think the only reason I think Delirious could have been lower is because he's wearing shoes. Yep. Um, I think, I think what hurt Delirious was the fact that he is one – I I mean, maybe it's just me, but at least I consider myself the average wrestling fan a little higher. But, um, like, I, I've i heard of Delirious, but I can't tell you what promotion he's in. So, um, 
He yeah, it was kind of it's an odd choice, and he was a pre, was he a pre order? They were like limited. I think it was a limited run, right? It was like Warlord, oh, yeah, Rachel Ellering. It was and, like it was him, uh, the Warlord, 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 Warlord and Rachel Ellering, and, and Rachel Ellering, all like the random three drop. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, Wardlow we looked at. You know, it's kind of lost in the face a little bit. Uh, IRS is up there because it looks like IRS. Yeah, yeah IRS. IRS like that's this is where we get to. You know, this is a Toyota brawl. Like that IRS, you know that that's IRS. The reason he kind of came in low, at least the chase was, uh, they you know because they hate everyone hated the chase. Uh, the you fact that it was just a say, black piece. I mean, if <laughs> that brawler right there is number forty-two on the list, it shows you just how good the brawlers we got this yep. year are. But we found Definitely. forty-one that are ahead of that one. Yep. Yeah. So I think I worked my list before we got together. I think he was top ten. Just me in an hour's time oh, going through. I just want to know one thing. You mentioned the chase getting flat because it was a black briefcase. This is what I got. I got a, I get, I don't know, a, a wrong sticker. I contacted uh, the, the shame, you know, I contacted PWTs. Hey, you know, I got a chase sticker. Could I maybe get the chase brawler? That's when I got the sad news, as we all know, that chases only come in the crates, the 250 chases, right? Only yep. come in the crates. So, so I'm stuck or with a, a botch, but look at me. I like random whatnot streams. <laughs> yeah, I'm just go. saying what I'm saying. I'm just saying what I was told. I, could, I couldn't get a replacement. And RG know. whatnot but, coming soon. You know, as a historian of Michael Brawlers, that's, that's a good piece to have. You have a, it is. a long yeah. taste. Yeah, and just to touch on number 41, Bushwhacker Luke, if you look at the faces between the two Bushwhackers, they are night and day. Luke has the notches in yeah. the in the forehead, and the, the missing teeth. Yep, and the tattoos. So that's definitely what separated. There was. I'm just trying to see really quick. Like, yeah, 67 and 41. So there's 26 spots between tag teams. You know, I feel like last year when we ranked all 232, most tag teams stuck pretty close together. That's a big gap mm -hmm. for a tag team. So, um, so Tom, we'll go back to you to bring us into the top 40, 40 to 31. That's funny because here I am again. We'll start number 40, one man gang. Um, here we go. 39 was Chris Bay. 38 was Warlord. Let's get some Ric Flair's in this. Uh, 37, Ric Flair Pink Robe. 36, Ric Flair Black Robe. 35, Sammy Guevara. 34, Ric Flair Purple Robe. 33, Ric Flair Red Robe. Uh, 32 is our, our Lord and Savior, Eddie Kingston. Uh, 31 was the Brody King in a mask. I think that I mean, I think those being kind of higher mid makes sense. All yep. good brawlers. The whole so, list of good brawlers to me. So you mentioned the Ric Flair's. Now, one of the things that brought, I believe it's the pink robe as well, that yeah. keeps these so low. Folks, if you notice, what are what are these little these little wing flaps here on Rick's neck? Yeah. What what is that supposed to be like the the track like flat. some shoulder muscles when it, it's flat. Is it the clavicle? It just yeah. it kind of looks yeah. weird there. When you start to get old, Dave, you start to get wrinkles and weird places on your body. I mean, it's just but I mean, this nature. is this is one of my favorite. I pushed for this brawler to be higher, um, but then we noticed the little the little neck flaps here. So, um, and I want to say too, I don't love the Sammy Guevara brawler. Yep. Um, but the argument was it is very innovative and yep. very accurate to <clears throat> his character at the time with the signs. So I conceded that's yep. a damn good brawler. I would be interested. So Sammy is going to be at my local indie in March, I think maybe yeah, April. April. Right. I was curious, like I yeah, I'd be like, yo, can you sign this? But I want to make sure it stays permanent. Like get him to sign the sign. No, He's that's exactly it. No, I want him to sign the sign. Yeah. So I'm a loose brawler. I'm get a, a loose collector. Get a thin tip paint marker. Yeah. Uh, oh, paint, paint. The, oh, thinnest, okay. the thinnest you can possibly the get. Thinnest tip you can get. <laughs> oh, I can and, find that. And like use it a bunch beforehand. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, that note. I appreciate yeah. that. Um. So yeah, yeah. Oh, mask is a great brawler. I regret not getting it. Which one? Who? The Brody King mask number thirty one. Yeah, great, great looking. It is brawler. Joe because of the tattoos on the chest and whatnot. It looks really cool. Eddie's that good. Been, yeah, Eddie's great. a great brawler. Yeah, Warlord, Warlord's a great. I mean, it's, it's such a Eddie Kingston was nostalgic. Eddie Kingston was like our like okay. Do we like typically most brawlers show it? Do we like it more or less than Eddie Kingston? Yeah, that was kind of our baseline. But Eddie Kingston, I think his. His orange skin kind of uh, came off on, yeah. like, just kind of rubbed us the wrong way there. So, what do you uh, have? I, got on. On these things. 
I have to toot my own horn. I'm just saying I, I predicted Chris Bay. I th- I forgot to bring it up on future episodes. <laughs> so I think this this thing's got one prediction per year because I got a uh, what Rich Swan, Chris Bay. It might only be one per year. I don't do we know. have a do we have a prediction yet? Our mighty scholar. Is there one? Are we oh, still working is he on? gonna use it right now? Six it's more dairy. Dairy. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with another Dan Housen or another Cole. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, Cardona, it's, under- it's no hate, no hate on the, you know, I'm a, a historian, completist, crazy person. Well, I mean, at time of recording, Nothing. I think Dan Housen uh, pre orders yep. still up there. So good luck oh, to everybody. Actually, yeah. on that note, sorry, um, he did disclose, I feel, I mean, he answered a question. I asked, uh, you know, if you get not personally on a Facebook group, he had a picture of details on the chase because that hasn't been specified. Okay. And he said en- entrance, en- entrance colors. So does that mean maybe some more red? Yeah. Maybe. Well, uh, we'll see. Uh, so, but so, I'm so up. yeah, yeah, you are up next, Nick, with uh, with 30, 30, 30 to correct. twenty-one. All right, thirty to twenty-one. We have uh, Nick Gage All Star Edition at coming in at number thirty. We have number 29, Abdullah the Butcher Chase. Number 28, Abdullah the Butcher Common. Uh, we have 27, uh, Johnny Gangarno. The, uh, I think they called it the What's Cassidy. that name? What's his name? <laughs> Johnny, Johnny Wrestling. The, uh, <laughs> Johnny Wrestling. <laughs> Yeah, you know I'm not good at these names, man. Uh, <laughs> reading is hard. Maybe we should have Owen read this list. <laughs> we got Johnny it's wrestling. Cass- the uh, it's I think they call it the Cassidy one. We have Carnage on our list, but I think it's called uh, Cassidy. Well, whatever. Correctly. Uh, we got 26. Uh, Johnny wrestling Iron Man. <laughs> we got uh, number 25. Johnny wrestling the Wolverine. Wasn't Johnny wrestling these... uh, John Morrison? Um, no, what was his? Was he Johnny Brawler? Johnny Brawler. Johnny Gimmick. Oh, yeah, I think Johnny it was Johnny Gimmick. Gimmick, man. You're right, you're right. Uh, <laughs> we got 24, the bloody Ric Flair. We got 23, mm-hmm. Malachi Black. We have 22, Ric Flair, Limo, Zine, the interview one. And then we have number 21, Ric Flair, Limousine, Chase, Space Mountain. I would like to say this because it's bothered me. The Malachi Black one, like it sucked to put that so low because the face on that, the details are incredible. Mm -hmm. Um, But the same reason that Don West didn't go higher, all the detail is lost in the black. I get it that that's his gear, but all the detail in the suit, the tie, the buttons, the the vest going down, it's lost in the all outline. Yeah, but or just even if you did like a black and a gray sort of thing, but no, I do all um, black, but like outline it in gray. Yeah, so that's that's what kept Malachi down so low. Uh, Abdul the Butcher Brawler, that's a good brawler. Good I forgot brawler. he has his big saggy boobs. Got boobs. Does he have the hand? Because this, oh yeah, yeah we talked a lot oh, we of fingers. We brought this up. Yeah, we haven't yes. talked about the this. Hands. Is I think <laughs> this is the first display of uh the curved hands. And now Tom, turn it on its side. Like that looks like he's got fingers are coming out. They're really not. It's the same size as but every other brawler. They must have stuff. learned how to use this technique this year because every brawler had like now a lot block, of block, curved block, hands. Block, that was our hand. thing. We found like so, yeah. twenty different instances of them using this hand <laughs> throughout the list. Yep. I started so, logging that the uh, the curly fingers section. The yeah, they were. The you get out <laughs> your curly section. Yep. Yeah. So you can tell they got a little excited when they figured out how to do that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the uh, Space Mountain Ric Flair is the top flair on our board. Um, it looks, it's just good. It's it's probably it's one of the few instances in which the chase beats the common. Um, but yeah. yeah. The card um, too, we said. Yeah, the, the card, card was different. Back, yes, yeah. the card was different on both because usually the chase, it's the common card. So that was a little uh, bonus there for that. Um, so yeah, twenty, Ryan, you can you can take us there. You sure, you want me to start there? Yeah, I'll start. Can I just say number twenty because I won't get to do sure, it. I, I it's number yours. twenty yeah. is the Samoa Joe Chase, which I have available, ladies and gentlemen. Never been opened. Opened it lot. We unbox this on Margaret's uh, wedding. Uh, Eve. So mm-hmm. I met Tom and then opened this. It was the best five minutes of my life. So very weird. 
<laughs> Tom, Tom says Joe's going to kill you. All right, so Ryan, you can le- read 19 through uh through 11 then. All righty. So yeah, we so, Samojo Chase, like I said, we like the regular red pants Samojo better at 19. 18, we don't hate women. I think you all know that, but Hana Kimura, we love. Oh, we'll, we, I'll, I'll let people explain really more later. Yeah, Hana Kimura. 17, I didn't fight super hard for it, but uh, Bret Hart. Shocking. Bret Hart chase 16, still I didn't. You know, it's a great brawler. I love Bret, but there's a lot of good ones this year. Mm-hmm. Number 15, Sex Ferguson. Again, so much detail in the back. Yep. Um, What's it saying? Summer is Trump? I I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> that that's that's part of why I collect uh you know in hey, box. My, my why is that crawl so sweet? Yeah, my mom can't see what I you know the language, but no, it's that's awesome. Um, number fourteen, we got Summerhausen. Number thirteen, Mortis. I think he's a lot higher. We knocked him down as we yeah, went. Yeah, it was. He was number was one. The next one three, the next yeah. three were all number one at one point. Um, number 12, Sting Chase. Number 11, regular Sting. Yeah, that's the first thing. I gotta yep. say. Retro, yep. Yes. I am looking at this list, and I still think Hana Kimura should be higher. It's hard. Once you start getting down, I mean, it's hard. To yeah, so like, once you get in that top good. 20, it, it, there was a lot They're of... All like, good yeah, like we said, at one point, Sting was number one. Like, when he and came I onto think the board... Sting should be lower, still. You still yeah, the think face, we, dis- we discovered that the face was really not that great on it as we started like holding him up next to each other to like yeah. others. You're like, if you take that face paint away, away, he's got nothing. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> and then we, but you know, the thing that knocked Mortis down is you look at those skulls on his shoulder pads and yeah, they don't another... look that good. So, yeah. um, so yeah, that is. The the yeah. drawing's great. Yeah, but what you get on the back just looks like Ooh. melted like cookie dough. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that takes us to the top ten, fellers. All right. I don't want you to read the ten. top ten by yourself. That's not fair. No, I'm not going to review the top ten by myself. We can each rotate, but I get to do the number ten, I guess. So, uh, number ten will be one half of the current AEW World Tag Team Champions, Mister Anthony Bowens. This this brawl, like you look at it in package, like Ryan's got, it's a beautiful brawler. But then you flip it over and just the detail in the jacket. You've got the the I can't even see because my camera's so blurry. Um, the YouTube button and a microphone. Yeah, you got the YouTube button, the microphone. Uh, yeah, you just got everything here. They got scissors. They got the mics, the cameras, all that. So it's just it's really good. And he's got like the little trunk, say Bowen's on the back. You've got the acclaimed day on the front, and he can scissor the next one as well. Oh, do I have a – oh, Ryan can't tell. I can't tell uh-uh. if it's a factory error or not. Uh-uh. Uh, well, you can see that. He's oh, got a hole in his hand, huh? He's got a little, little hole in his oh, hand. Yeah. Too much scissoring. Too much that scissoring. <laughs> No a little black spot or a literal hole? A literal black spot there looks like. And it looks like there's like a piece of – like it looks like it got chipped a little bit. I don't know. Magic eraser if it's not like actual ch- chunked out. I don't know. Well, you can kind of see it looks like it got chipped a little bit around like the. But oh man, mine did not look like that. Ryan, I, I have a unique oh, one. So that <laughs> is going to start is... getting a sharpie. Yeah. yeah. So that's <laughs> number ten. Tom, why don't you give us number nine? Max Caster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your yeah, best together. friends, baby. Um, this is an incredible brawler yeah. um we didn't even talk when we were rating these the detail in the pants he's got all yeah. the little logos on the pants yep. like, Yo, it's got microphones um for me it was the headphones it was the microphone it was the hat um this is also he's got a piano on the side of his pants mm-hmm. yep Yep. This is a Sounds good beautiful. brawler, man. The more you look at it, a lot of deco. You... Like just like the depth of you got the hair under there and then the brim of the hat. It's um, dimensional. Wow, you know what I even noticed? There's even like a little bit of it's gonna be hard for the camera to pick up, but the little detail in the headphones kind of having ridges on it. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. and just something wow. I noticed as well, the hat as well, like it has the indent for where like his hair is gonna be there. Like it's got yeah. the cut there. So yeah. I think it's fantastic. The mic's got the little grids. It's got the muscle tone. It looks like him. So great tag team. Fantastic. 
Yes, absolutely. So, uh, Nick, why don't you give us number eight? I don't have All this. Right. A lot of people well, don't because they got scammed because your group. Number eight is uh, Summer Hawson. Chase Hawson. Summer Hawson. It's not my favorite. This is not it's my favorite brawler. I, I, I would have had this lower, but th- 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 once again, we it's a democracy. Listen, it's I kind of <laughs> had it lower at times as well, but <laughs> what kept it up for me was the grayscale. Yeah, That's what did it. Looks so good. It does. So he's got bray eyes from that match. It's scary. He does. Um, and but it's also like it's a the rare the rarity to come yep. into effect a little bit on this too about exactly how hard the, to the get. rarity and you know obviously unfortunately a lot of people got scammed trying to get that know. brawler sadly but um, so yeah Ryan why don't you give us number seven. Yeah, Ryan, Tom's gonna us agree. Seven, Tom's Ryan. gonna agree. Ain't this great, Tom? Ain't this great? Just yeah. give us number seven. Give it to me, Ryan. What? J E double F J A double R double R E double T. Jeff Jarrett ain't that great? This is a fantastic brawler. This is my childhood right here. Tom will know soon. He will have it in hand. Also, as soon as my delayed shipment ends up to him. Uh, uh it's awesome. a good brawler, man. The the cool depth about this. Go ahead. The depth on the hat. Yeah, the hat. The hat's like a new tech new brawler technology. It's the first yep. time they've done anything like that. It looks cool like there's like a magnet like stuck to the hat. Yeah, right. like, but the face, like just like the 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 mouth, it's it's great. This is a great brawler. Yeah. Absolutely. I like uh, it. It it is in the right place. Number Although seven. one minor minor detail I just noticed in the mouth. There's skin gaps. Like, is that some, like uh, on the either side of the tongue? That's... Drop them down. 25. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. So, but other than that, I think this is a great ball that the nose has some depth. The little fringe on the armbands there. You know, I just wish like you could pose him for just do the little strut thing. So, yeah, that's a good brawler. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's a solid brawler. So, coming in at number six, this is a brawler that like, started i feel like in like the teens and then bumped up almost to number one and then settled back a little bit coming in at number six on the brawler rankings it is adam cole baby this thing is the jacket the detail and the knee pads with baby and the ac um i love that the stripes on the jacket's perfect the ac on the jacket the the pockets the face is great um you know that's adam cole you know yes you know this is adam i mean cole. it's Baby. a good pose the face is spot on yeah uh, pose is uh, yeah just the more i look at that brawler it's it's a really really well designed brawler one thing i've noticed i feel like more so this year than than previous years is so typically you know your brawlers had like two positions it was this or like they did this position you know whereas <laughs> this year Yes, pretty much. But like this year now, you got Adam Cole doing the hands yeah. up, Jeff Jarrett with like the the piece I saw like before he is. You've got the the acclaimed scissoring. You know they're getting more detail in the hands, which yeah. is great. Yeah, Rachel Allering, Car- 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 hands. Yeah, the Rachel Allering one was tough for me. Sorry. So, but yes, that is Adam Cole in at number six. Tom, who's number five? A brawler I once had. Um, that is in Ryan Crossley's possession. Uh, it's the Jeff Jarrett Chase. I love the colors on that. I don't know if you wore it, but the color of the gear, the color yeah. of the sunglasses, the colors on the hat. That is a awesome chase. That yep. is a damn good brawler. I'm sad that I don't have it, but I'm also not. That's yep. a good brawler. You can always come visit, of course. Once I get the museum set up, you say this. he did wear it though. I had to I look do it know up. Your address. Like, what's that? I do know your address. That is true. Death Valley, Death Valley, California. <laughs> like the Undertaker, I used to. I used to be a redhead, parts unknown. Yeah, but you're not a bootlicker. Um, I must. I must say that Jeff Jarrett. You could show it more times. I do not have that. Um, the thing I like about the hat is the purple and black J. It almost looks like it's in the process of lighting up. Yeah, which I really yep. like. Which was, I mean, I don't know if that was the intent, but I don't. I, I'll say this: I don't remember that blue and yellow gear, but 
it pops well. I found a picture because I'm always hesitant. I mean, I, I want them either way, but when it's not gear like Akeem, like or uh, one man gang yellow, it's like he didn't wear that. But this one's factual, so kudos to them for putting the work in. Do we remember when that Jeff Jarrett brawl was released? Uh, I think I mailed it to Ryan was it like a month ago. Oh, it was in November, November, right? It was in the no, November I, crate, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm trying to remember because um, I remember that uh, Lemonhead had messaged me about it, I feel like, because he was like, if Jeff Jarrett is in the top of that list, I am going to be mad. You so, made that pretty high, at least. I mean, he did. Um, just, I'm just trying to find that conversation. I generally don't like Jeff Jarrett. Um, he's whatever to me. I don't think he needs to be on AEW right now. He's very whatever. I think that brawler looks really good. Oh, I'm sorry. I, fa- I found the message. November 23rd, 2022 at 10.52 a.m. Miami time, of course, from the Lemonhead. If the Jarrett brawler isn't at the top of the year-end rankings, I'm calling bullshit on the whole nerd ranking system. <laughs> and I went, I'm guessing that's the brawler. I roll. And then I showed him my crate sitting on my desk because I hadn't unboxed it yet. <laughs> oh. I was like, so guess what? <laughs> You can suck on that slap nuts because guess what? You ruined the crate for me, so I knock your brawler down. Yeah. So coming in at number four, who do you have, Nick? Well, I actually just bought this one this weekend. Uh, well, it, it's not. You have it wrong on the list again, Dave. It's not yeah. USA Macho Man. That's a different Macho Man. It's oh, already sorry. Coming out. This is the Stars and Stripes Macho Man, brother. I love this thing. Oh, yeah. The deco. I think of Macho calling Monday Night Raw wearing this. Like, this is an iconic look. I love this. Even Matt Cardona copied it. And something else I just noticed as a minor detail. If you look at the the notches in the uh, tassels, there's even little notches in each one. So oh, there's – it's yeah. double the amount as, as you would think. So, um, yeah, this thing is just I dope. I say there is a little gap, though, in the red in the sunglasses. On the yeah. Oh yeah, it's see that right. there. But that's oh. all right. It's it's cool. hard. that that you can excuse, but like yeah, but the colors pop really well. Yep. I mean, there's they even a little them. there's even a little the gap there in good. the uh the star where the blue there. Yeah. So this, their hands look good. It's a good brawler. I like it. Yes. Um. Yeah. This is one of like the, again, like I was saying, these were like two of your typical poses right here. Um, your WrestleMania eight main event. Um, but so then it comes to uh number three, Ryan. Who do you got? Um, I think Nick pointed out. I think this was the first of the curly fingers, and for for good reason. Number three, Evil Uno. I think you said what was he crate brawler of the year? Yes, he was the crate brawler of the year at the Heralds. Yeah. This. This thing is so wild. It's so toyetic from the mask. There's a smile in the mask, that little indent. The eyes are perfect. The hand behind here, like we said, the curl, the curled fingers. Um, and Ryan, this was not the first ball to have the curled hands. The original Dan Housen does. Somebody held that up. I think it may have been you that held that up. It was me. Oh, but okay. yeah. But like even the uh the indents in the wrist tape, it's this is really good. All. Yes. Good you mask. look at this That's and you and I'll say this, Evil Uno looks really evil in this. So it's fantastic. Um no, this I love this brawl. It's really cool. So so yes, that is our crate brawl of the year, and he falls in at number three on our countdown. Um sorry, put a finger down there, Uno. Number three there. So uh number two. Um, it comes down to mm-hmm. I don't have this one, so Ryan, you're gonna have to hold it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, number two on our rankings is the Scott Hall Chase, the black and white new, uh, new, new world order. Yes, you look at that brawler, that is WrestleMania 18. That is Scott Hall, the hair on the chest, the toothpick, the five o'clock shadow, the hair dropping down. It is just it's so freaking good. It's him. Like that brawler shot up our rankings really quick, you know. Also, um, very very hard to find one too. Don't see any like ever come up for sale. No, and I think Oscar got a chase of that, didn't he? I think he so. did, maybe, or maybe he was looking for that. But I'll say this: if you're in our Patreon group, you have a good chance at getting a chase brawler because when the Bret Hart 
uh, Heart Foundation brawlers came out. I got a chase. Ryan got a chase. When the Scott Hall chases came out, Ryan got a chase. I think Oscar got a chase. Um, I got a Samoa Joe chase. You are very good chance of getting a chase brawler if you join our Patreon. Patreon.com. I got a Jeff Jarrett chase. I got a Jeff Jarrett chase. Yeah, so. I still never pulled a chase ever. I you never pulled a chase. A great invader. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, I got only ones I get really a chance at are the pre-orders uh, order, but no, nope, well, never seen chase. Well, speaking of one, there is only one brawler left, and it is the number one brawl of the year. Tom, put it up. It I is, it's Sky. I'm changing my mind. Oh, look at his ear. It pulls uh, forward to his face. Oh boy! Uh, I think uh, I remember seeing that. I I didn't disclose that when you guys were putting putting this over so much. I didn't have to fight. Looks for it. it does I'm look a little saying, weird. Here's why he gets it: toothpick, chest hair. The gear looks great. The hair yeah. squiggle looks awesome. It's a good brawler. It's a fantastic brawler. Um, like you said, yeah, this is this is an iconic outfit too. This is yeah, the yeah. Bash at the Beach Outsiders um gear that simple yeah. um eat wow i just even noticed that ryan you're not going to see this in the package but like even like the little strap on the back of the yeah. vest it's yeah. fantastic so yeah. scott hall comes in you, number did you one. forget how many i ordered oh I'll whoa, whoa yeah. ryan is a loose brawler is it what the fuck happened remember i holy. ordered uh 13 so yeah <laughs> holy cat ryan has a loose brawler on display that's so, insane. Yeah. so yes that is our rankings everyone 82 to 1 <laughs> Uh, this list I, took two hours. Uh, I'm on my to get to Yes, um, but yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. I notice every time we do this, I am so utterly disappointed in micro brawlers because of how bad those seams get with color bleeds. They need to figure that out. I don't know what it is. If it's just. The paint when they're painted or what it is, but those seams get such bad. I, of course, I can't find one right now. Um, oh, color bleed even just my seam front to back goes black. It just turns black. Which, do you remember which one I was complaining about? Uh, uh, Brian Pillman. Yes, Brian Pillman. The original, the the loose cannon is the worst one. Like, I have a little bit on my Adam Cole leg. There's just it's so bad. Yeah. So I want to <clears throat> formal complaint. Formal complaint. Pro I'll let you. I I, I I you know this is coming out after the this is coming out after the cruise. But uh like yeah yeah I talked to Ryan Bark and he'll he's just he's talking about it to uh, the board right now. But so ladies and gentlemen, uh on a, on a serious note, thank you to everybody who has tuned into this show for the last two years. Uh, we're not done yet. Uh, we we're on the Tom says highway to mania. So um, yes, just genuinely thank you to everybody that has joined us on this journey as we rank uh, literally, literally the show started off our, our passion with these little figures. So we figured it fair to rank them again. Um, let us know, of course, in the comment section, if you agree with our rankings, who you think should be number one, who you think should be number 82. Um, let us know how you got in microphones. Let us know um, what's your favorite part of the show. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. Yeah, say hi. It's that simple. You can, you know, people ask how can we help support the show. You you help by watching. You help by subscribing, liking the video, telling your friends about it. Simply liking a comment or whatnot, you know, does a lot. You don't have to spend any money to help support the show. So, please, if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing. We greatly appreciate it. We just hit two hundred subscribers. We want to hit four hundred the next uh, by the time we do this next show. Let's double the numbers. I want them higher. So, uh, yes, of course, if you want to support the show financially, of course, you can go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash The Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. Get a Wrestling Nerd Broadcast logo tee. We just released the Tom Says Hi in the Monday Night Raw uh, old logo for Raw's War. Uh, you can get a Spaceman George shirt if you're on a Spaceman uh, market system. Um, of course, you can check us out on Patreon, Patreon.com slash WNRDB. Tom, what are you doing? I'm pointing. Oh, okay. That's right. Tom's point. It's what I do now. I point. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I thought you were like trying to, I'm like trying to look at your client. like, what is he trying to p- figure out here? Uh, but yeah, so join our Patreon, patreon.com slash WNRDB. Of course, like, and uh, like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, WNRDB, the wrestling nerd broadcast. And of course, like I said, if you haven't already done so, uh, Tom has Pete, uh, Pete picks, feet picks for sale. <laughs> so check those out. No, uh, and of course, just please subscribe to the channel. It's that simple. You want to support the show, subscribe to the channel if you've already done so. Uh, like I said, leave a comment below. Tom says hi. So on behalf of myself, 
the uh, the former king, Dave C. The Voice, the founding father, Mr. Nick Carpenter, the Michael Brawler, Scotland, Mr. Ryan Crossley, and of course, the man who is going to face George for the crown of WrestleMania, Mr. Tom Sasso. And of course, Harold, who's running around somewhere, I'm sure. Don't forget to tell your mother you love her every day because like Kevin Durant said, Mom, you're the real MVP. Good night, everyone. Thank you for watching, and God bless America. Thank <laughs> you.